Today is such a beautiful day here at Superstition Mountain where we've been camping for two weeks, but the time has come and it is time to leave this beautiful view that we have. Even though it's been a wonderful stay here at Superstition Mountain, I'm packing up now because we want to try something a little different. to try something different so we've come here to a campground on Apache Trail now since this is less than 10 miles away I went ahead and followed Jeff over in my truck instead of hooking it up to my RV now normally we have been camping at BLM but we thought this would be a little different give us a chance to have a break plug in and fill up our tanks get rid of trash dump Here's my spot right here, number 70. Since this is a KOA, they do have amenities. Electric and water at site dump station. This spot is wide enough so I can fit my truck right next to my RV. Talking about my RV, that's what we're gonna go get right now. Jeff's gonna ride back with me and he's gonna drive the truck back. Once I get back and set up, I'll show you more of the amenities here at the KOA. I will miss this view and it was nice camping here, but I won't miss the generators. Yeah, that was the only unfortunate thing about camping here is that there were a couple people that would run their generators all night long. Okay, we've made it to camp. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up. Since we're here only for a day, I'm definitely not gonna put a lot out. Just basically gonna hook up the utilities and maybe put a camping chair out. Hello. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Janet's here. A little later, I'll take y'all around and show you some of the RV park and the amenities, but I need to get a load of laundry in. They do have a laundry facility here, but I have the laundry machine and also a dryer. And since I'm plugged in and have water, I can use my onboard, which will be awesome. Hey lady, how are you doing? Oh my God, I'm good. How are you? Good. Hey! Welcome to Apache Junction! Thank you. We've been here for two weeks, but not, not, not here. here. Yeah. I was down the road that other than last night and here tonight. Nice. Well, you're just excitable, aren't you? Yeah, she just went to the park. Oh, jeez. So much energy. I saw Jeff. He just a couple over. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I am hungry, 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 hungry. We decided to go to Wendy's and grab some food. We got the Baconator. I think that's, wait, which one is which? Let's see. That would be yours. Here you go. Oh, here's, here's your fries. Mm. So we're gonna eat something really quickly, thank you. And then take a walk around. I should actually, I'm gonna get the dogs a snack so they'll have something to. Okay, y'all want something, huh?
He's gonna want your burger and not want to eat his. There you go. There you go, Mama. <laughs> nope, he's not eating it. He's like, you better give me a piece of your burger. Moon was like, I'll eat it. Mm. Uh huh. And you wonder why he's so spoiled. The dogs kept on staring, so I made them some chicken salad. It's a Caesar's food that we give them that has peas and carrots and real chicken, just simple ingredients. I just add a little mayonnaise. Nothing like chicken salad. Ugh, oh, that's much better. That was so good. I was going over some of my comments on my phone and someone had mentioned about the stevia sweeteners that I use in my drinks and actually I just put some in my tea. The study had shown that they can uh, cause or increase the chance of stroke or heart attack, but it's not the stevia. It's the erythritol that's in or added to the stevia sweetener and that has shown to cause increase in stroke or heart attack. But the stevia sweetener I get does not have erythritol in it. And I steer away from the erythritol now, knowing what I know. So I just wanted to go over that. Also, someone had mentioned um, how I work on my solar system uh, for my past video without disconnecting, or I mean covering the panels or laying them down. But what we did is we disconnected the panels at the MC4 connector first. That way there was no power going into the system. There was another comment by Kim. She says, I have a question. I have a class A and when we boondock, the inverter does not power the 120 plug, just the DC. Is that normal? Well, I don't know why the inverter would be running DC because that's specifically for the 110 appliances and you have to have it plugged into the inverter for it to work. So either you have to plug in an extension, in, ugh, sorry, extension cord into the inverter and run off that extension cord or plug in your 110 device into that inverter or either you can plug your coach into that inverter if it's possible and then your 110 outlets will be ready to use. I'm gonna take the dogs for a quick walk and explore around. So I know some of the amenities that they have here, but not everything. Right near my camp spot here in the corner, there is a dog park. It's a small fenced in area, but gives the dogs something. And the dumpsters are there behind it. Yeah, I know, look at that. Isn't that cool? It's huge. They call them tiny houses, but they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That one's bigger than a fifth wheel, I'd say, or the same size. Definitely seems like a nice, peaceful, and relaxing place to camp. You are very close to your neighbors, but no one seems loud. I don't hear a bunch of generators going because obviously there is power and water. That's what was happening at our last camp spot for the last, I'd say, four or five days, there was someone that was running their generator all hours of the day, even at night. They are definitely crammed in here. There's about 124 sites. Some are tent camping, some are pull-throughs, some are backups, and you can get different things. They have electric at some sites, or you can get electric and water and dump. Not all are available at all sites. And for $15 extra, you can get a camp spot that has a barbecue already there, right? Uh, an umbrella on the picnic table. An umbrella on the picnic table. Fancy. There really are some huge rigs here. Look at that um, Class C right there. Much bigger than my Class C, but that's a, um, what do they call those Class C's? Super C's. super C's, yeah. Definitely super. We also have available cabins. I see two here. Nope, there's more back there. So about four cabins. What you smelling? What you smelling? So they have 124 sites listed, but there's these sites as well, which is A and B. So there's definitely more than 124 camp spots. This is the front of the cabins. 
which are nice. They're cute little cabins. And this little roundabout here is actually where the tent camping is. And also I think dry camping. Are those dry camping? Well, no, I see a plug there and also water. Maybe it just doesn't have the sewer. And there's a small little trailer spot. I love the cabins. I guess these are just smaller backup sites, but they're alphabetical. So there definitely is more than 124 spots. We have a little washing station for the tent sites. That's awesome and convenient. This is the pool area. It is a heated pool. They do have the public restrooms here and also showers, I believe. It's a little nice sitting area. What's back here? Oh, this is where the laundry facility is. I've seen these all over the place. They have the hand sanitizing stations. Yeah, this is the laundry. So I just found out that the laundry does close at five o'clock. But fortunately, like I said earlier, I do have my own washing machine and dryer. So I could just use that. And this is where you check in at. It's the office. Checkout time is 11 and check in is at one. Night registration. I think they have a, is there a gift shop in there? Yeah, there's this little store right in here. We have the dogs, so we won't go in there. We're gonna continue our walk. There are two residents here. I guess those are for the camp hosts. Right up front is the dump station, which most sites have a dump area, so I'm not sure why you'd actually need that. Now I know the tent sites don't have sewer at their area, but I don't see why they would actually need to dump because you can't park RVs at the tent area. That looks so nice. And this is what I mean, how some of the spots have the barbecue island with the sink and a barbecue and table and chairs and an umbrella. The sites that have the barbecue island are pretty cool, but I'm not sure if I would want to pay the extra $15 just to have that. But I guess it's up to the person. Right near my spot, they have an activity hall. I think they have activities there. And also there's a community fire pit with a picnic table and some chairs. Oh yeah, there's where our friend Janet is parked. Look at that Super C, that one's the huge one. The 40 foot one. That's like driving a semi-truck. It's humongous. Look at that slide. The slide is as long as the RV. What, that's 600,000? Ouch. Oh, start at, oof. But it's all electric. Oh, it's all electric everything. Nice. Some people are, I guess, here for extended periods and they've got everything out, like their clam and, uh, yeah, look at it, they've got, it really set up outdoor furniture and everything. They do have weekly and monthly rentals as well. I guess if you're gonna stay here a month, you might as well get comfortable. Crazy, crazy, so hyper. Get her, Kellogg. She'll even eat onions, she likes lettuce. Onions, dogs <laughs> yeah, aren't, oh wow. They're not supposed to eat onions, yeah. I don't think. She's still alive. <laughs> she is still alive and energetic. Look at you. Tippy. Put <laughs> your gnome over. Gnomsters. Oh, it's all tight. All right, come here. Good girl. All right, let's well, go. the sun has set. It's beautiful right now. It feels yeah. lovely. I'm going to take Mumu for another walk. I had to take a nap. We were here to relax, so that's what I did. I'm going to walk over and see if. Jeff wants to take another walk. Oh, it looks like the activity room is open. Oh, there's a pool table and some other tables in there. Knock, knock, you wanna go for a walk? They also have a ping pong table. All right, go, go, go. What's she stopping for? Come on. 
Look at the creosote in bloom. It's what it looks like when it's taken care of and watered. Beautiful. Canine camp inside the doggy park. Not a lot going on here. Mama, go inside. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't do more with this. It's very bare. It's bare, Kellogg. There's not even any dogs over here. There's a lot of smells, though. They're like, ooh, smell this, smell that. So we stopped by our friend's Janet, but she said she was just going to relax and enjoy her glass of wine. It's not noisy. No, that's what I was saying earlier. It's very peaceful and quiet. You don't hear like generators or a bunch of kids screaming. It is a Monday though, not a weekend, so it might be different on the weekend. All is quiet at the pool. I think it doesn't close until, what'd you say, 10 or 9? Nine? 9 o'clock. Good morning everyone, it's about a quarter to 8. I had a wonderful night's sleep, and then I took a long, long, long warm shower this morning. It was wonderful. <laughs> I mean, I can take showers normally when I'm on the road. It's just I can't take extended periods because, you know, you have to conserve on water. I only have a 50-gallon um, reserve or freshwater tank. There's one thing I want to do this morning. I had received some mail when I was in Yuma at some friend's house. And this is from Torcos, I think it is. Torcos, T-O-R-K-O-S. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And this is from Jersey. <laughs> so I'm gonna open this up. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, they really have this thing taped off. Thank you for mailing me this package. That was awesome of you. Very nice. Whoops. Okay, let's see what we've got. I already know what it is. It's for the property. I can tell what it is from the bottom. I think, if I'm not mistaken. It is! Oh my God, that's beautiful. Look at that. It's a birdhouse for the property. Oh, I was like, I'm not sure what's going on here. But I guess that's so you can open it up and clean it out. That's beautiful. Thanks, I appreciate that. Awesome. It's going up in my loft until I get back home. Oh, 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 oh. Or I should say the property. Someone asked me why I don't call the property home. I call it property. It's because this is my home and it goes wherever I go. Uh, the property is home, technically, but this is what I consider my home. And when I'm there on the property, then that is home. But that's more of home base. So beautiful. I love that. It's gorgeous. Thanks again. Two more things had fallen out on the table. And there's some skinny mini treats from Moot. Why are you staring at it? Moot, she's already staring at it. <laughs> you want to see? She's like, she's like, what is that? What is that? What is that? Uh huh. You want to say thank you? <laughs> Moomoo says thank you. And we've got a bar of soap as well. What is this? Oh, it's goat's milk. So they had sent a little card as well. It's beautiful. Aja, we had thought of you when we found this panda pin. Uh, did I? <laughs> I must have dropped the panda pin. Okay, and of course, we couldn't forget Moo Moo. Hope she likes these treats. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give her one. Oh, they have three chihuahuas. Awesome. 
I appreciate y'all watching the videos and I appreciate this gift. That was very sweet of y'all. And this is from John and Lucy. Torcos is, if I'm pronouncing that right, is their last name. Awesome. Oh, P.S. Thought you might like this goat's milk soap too. I can't wait to try it. Well, that was very sweet of y'all. Sorry it took me so long to open up the package. I was just trying to find the time and I had stuck it up in the black hole, which was up there, and I was reorganizing it again, and I found the package, and I was like, I better get to this. But I do appreciate it, and thank you so much. Well, this morning feels nice. It's overcast, so it's not too hot. Feels wonderful. Got everything put up over here, except the electricity. I'll unplug as soon as I'm ready to pull out. That only takes a second to put up and everything else is packed away except my hanging basket which will just take a second well there goes a big chopper that's not very peaceful so it's a little after nine i have about two hours until i have to leave so that gives me plenty of time i still need to hook up the truck so i might get that done here in a little bit and then i guess i can just relax until it's time to leave Since we're ready, normally I would just go ahead and leave, even though we have an hour. But we are waiting on our friend Janet. I'm gonna walk over there in a moment and see if she's ready to leave. If not, I'll just send her the pin of where we're going because it's only 10 miles up the road, so not too bad. But she did want to follow us over there, so I'll go check and see if she's ready or if she still wants to follow us or just for us to send her a pin. Yeah, I really did enjoy the stay here. But at $70 a night, that can get really expensive really quickly. So, yeah, I wouldn't be doing this a lot. I really do appreciate the BLM and the 14-day free camping that they allow. And someone had made a comment saying that they don't understand why we go to BLM and it's like squatting. I'm like, no, squatting would be if you stay past the 14 days, but they actually allow you to stay for 14 days. And as long as you obey those rules and, you know, pack it in, pack it out, then you're good to go. That's what the public lands are for, is to get to go to different places and, and have somewhere free to park where you can explore the area. And it's also good for the economy for the areas or the local areas that you go to because you spend your money there at local businesses. Okay, everything's ready to go. So I'm gonna walk over to my friends and see if she's ready to go. And if not, I'll just send her the pin and I guess we're gonna go ahead and pull out. So we walked by her spot and we didn't see any activity. So we're just gonna send her a pin. Go oh, inside. Good girl. Hold on. Do this. Okay, go. <laughs> okay, I think we are ready. Jeff's pulled up. And let's wait for this big Vectra to move. Got to make sure my truck is locked down as well. Okay, we'll check one more time and see if she's up and about. Oh, do you want us to wait on you? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, um, I'm not sure. Oh, I think we'll pull out over here. We can um, pull out on the street side. Yeah, we'll... there's that dirt right there. Yeah, so we'll wait for you over okay, there. I'll be like five minutes. Five minutes? Okay, gotcha. All right, everything's locked down. Green, green, ready to go. Thank you, KOA. It was fun. A little pricey, but fun. Just going to pull over here on the side of the road and wait for her. Forgot to put my blinds up. They're kind of banging around. Momo. <laughs> 
We're only going 10 miles up the road, honey. You're not going to have that long of a nap. Highway 60 is a little over a mile up the road, so we'll just wait here until she's ready. <laughs> 